sitting here with Jesse from Amir. And uh, we're here in Auburn, Washington at the Mayhem Fest. So, uh, you guys just released an album, uh, Eternal Enemies, in February. Yes. How's it going? What's the response like for you guys? I mean, it's, it's better than, than you can imagine. So we're really excited. We're happy with the way we wrote it, the way it came out, it was recorded. So, the next step is how is people going to respond, of course. So, we've been responding great. Songs we've been live since we started playing. Uh, the first new song uh, live has been amazing. So the yeah, response is really, really good. People are just saying that. We're trying to get the song out there. It's all good. It's fun. So now, you guys got a lot of flack uh, for the first track on that album, Yelling a Gun to School. So, what, what, what was you guys' real message? Well, basically, that's, again, that's more of like a, a, a thing that Frank wrote, and he's telling a story through the album, like every album would be a story, and it's basically kind of like, you know, he got bullied a lot when he was younger, and it was just him telling the story, but I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to get you, like, don't let, don't let them bully you, basically. So basically, like, Columbine, you know, what we're seeing a lot of kids that are bullied that end up yeah. bringing the gun to school, it's, and, yeah, it's not like and the destruction, it, but it's basically yeah. saying, like, look, but it, like, but it's got to be brought up to the front page. Right, and that's the hardest part. They go, oh, I don't want to accept that. And they get mad and start all types of things against it. It's like, uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, a lot of people don't like freedom of speech when it comes yeah. to music. That's for sure. Yeah, they like to control the freedom. <laughs> what freedom? <laughs> so, uh, I know you guys, this is your third uh, city on this tour. So, it's kind of hard to say which is your favorite city or what you're doing. What cities are you looking forward to in the future that you just can't wait to get and play? Um, it's unfortunate we missed the California dates. It's really good, but they're amazing. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of venues. I can't think off the top of my head, like uh, maybe Chicago, um, the Jones Beach, uh, R&I, NMF, uh, There's a few areas I'm really excited to go to that we've been to before. Uh, I think it's Timothy Cole in Chicago. We've been there a bunch of times. Uh, Funny man. Uh, in fact, it was the first year he was with Rob Zombie. Oh, so that was yeah. 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 Was the back yeah, sure. so, yeah. Um, now, what do you guys have planned after this tour? What's the rest of this year look like for you? Um, we have something we're planning for the November December. I can't announce it yet because it's still not 100 you know locked up. So you hear it first here. We yeah. got something big coming, so watch out. Yeah, we definitely do. So we do. Uh, I guess that's all I can really bring up is that's a little bit. And uh, that'll be otherwise we're hanging out. We're playing the Aftershock Festival September 13th in California. That's gonna be a good show. Yeah, that'll be fun. So we'll be home, we'll fly out, do that one, and then cruise right on out and get it done. What are some of the uh, bands? What are some of the bands on this tour that you guys you, you really have to see almost night? Corn? How can you put corn in the same as cannibal corns, baby? I guess, I guess, well, I mean, when I grew up, that was my, my, my jam. I was all the way from, you know, rancid to corn to the, the <laughs> all over the place. So, uh, that's where I, you know, got a lot of influence for a lot of, a lot of our sound. Uh, so, to me, even to see them now, it's like incredible, honestly. And cannibal corns, of course, I've been a huge fan for a long time, so. Yeah, me too. Alex Webster's always been one of my favorite. Between him and Frank and Obituary are my favorite bases since Cliff's passing. Uh, you know, I've, I've loved him. I felt blessed to be on tour several times with them. That's Didn't awesome. know him and hanging out with them and then interviewing them. So, what are some of the things that you look forward to doing on this tour with the fans and getting out in your even more out there? Like, you know, maybe we'll try to have a new video or something. We just keep content going and, you know, just keep keeping 
like me. I'll go outside and I'll doing something for the community. Because, like, I'm interviewing every one of you guys on the Victory yeah. stage okay. and Victory Records and Samaritan Records. And Victory's really pushing all of you guys really heavy and hard. So what's it like to have a label behind you like that that's actually pushing and doing what they should for everybody? Amazing. I've, I've heard a lot of horror stories for different labels, different people, different situations that happened, and uh, over time, I guess, it was a situation that worked uh, really, really well. And now, a six month record, we're doing, you know, the just the album victory. We really got each other real well, and it's, it's, uh, we just got a system, and then they, it works great. What they do works great, and, and they're really spending the time and money to promote us, and like, I can't speak enough for, for, for the label for doing that, so we're just out here trying to do anything we can to try and just, you know what I'm push it, push it, get out there, meet the fans, more content, just keep it going, you know, mix up the internet. You can't ask for better weather, though, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's nice, it's definitely nice. I just got my hearing uh, tested and done in that thing, and I was like, literally a sauna. I'm sitting there listening to drip. <laughs> it's nice outside, though. Wait till you get on the stage, at least you'll have some wind up there while you're playing, but you're still going to be drip, drip, drip. Yeah, I wear a long sleeve, too, in pants, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be wrapping this interview up. Uh, remember, this is Jesse with the Mirror. Like you said, they got a headlining tour hopefully coming out. Some big names coming. Definitely don't want to miss these guys. They're going to be the uh, headliner on the Victory stage tonight and through Mayhem Tour, so make sure you catch them. Thanks again, Jesse, for your time. Bro. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it.